at 7, opponents of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro are calling for continued protests ahead of today's controversial election. There are fears that the results of the election could give Maduro sweeping new powers. CBS 4 Silva Harpedion reports. Opponents of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro are calling for continued protests before Sunday's controversial election of a National Assembly that would rewrite the Constitution at Maduro's request, a move that the leftist leaders' critics say could consolidate his power and lead to a dictatorship. One particular thing uh, that makes this act unlawful is that they never uh, consulted with the people if, they, if the people want to change the Constitution. This is a typical step. Uh, in the Constitution of Venezuela. This was the same step that was taken in the last referendum to change the Constitution. Here in South Florida, hundreds of Venezuelans turned out last week for a symbolic vote to make sure their voice was heard in Venezuela. It's been 20 years already and we haven't had that freedom, so that's what I'm here for, voting for my country. I'm tired of hearing stories of my family and my friends getting hurt, uh, things that they can't find what they need in the supermarket, the fact that there's no medicine for the old people that are sick in the hospitals, the fact that everybody's out there fighting uh, the national government that's being oppressive because we can't be free. The election comes after months of sometimes deadly protests. Economic crisis has led many to flee the country in search of easier access to food and medicine, many fearing to be held as political prisoners. A lot of pain. Esto no, esto no es un simulacro, ¿ya? Esto es la vida real. This is real life. Maduro's regime has forbidden protests through Tuesday. It has also said anyone protesting could face anywhere between five to ten years in prison. They've dispatched 370,000 troops to secure Sunday's vote. I'm Silvahara Petty on CBS4 News this morning.